Well, hello. This is another episode of The Ridiculousness, and I am always uh, your host, Martin Day. This time, shit is really going down. I have got Tana back again. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. Really. This is time to start dissecting some shit. Definitely. Getting back origin stories. Yeah. People have been crying out. Real life. Real life. <laughs> the people are real. <laughs> <laughs> the real. cases are real. <laughs> we met. It was. It's quite a while ago now. A long time ago. I think it's coming on for five years. Five years. Yeah. It's quite a long time in our life. Yeah, yeah. dog years. That's almost an eternity. Mm-hmm. So yeah, good job we're not dogs. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, speak for myself. <laughs> but no, we. Oh, essentially, we met at a festival. Yeah, yeah. wedding festival. Um, which is a long time. Well, what you said five years ago. What, Two, what year was that? Two thousand and seven. Two thousand and seven. My first festival. Oh wow! And then you, you were all starry eyed. <laughs> Everything was running around like ah, I'm having so much fun. Everything was the most amazing thing yeah. you'd seen in the world. Yeah, <laughs> it was the most fun I'd ever had in my life. Um, Festivals are incredible. What was the 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 lineup? Do you remember the lineup? God. Because I, th- I can't remember lineups from particular festivals. I remember that year I saw Go Go Bordello. Wow. That was cool. Um, and I think Jimmy Eat World were probably on. <laughs> God, who else did I I think they're I there see? every year. I yeah, I know. I've seen them about three times now, I think. Um, God. God. See, it's I hard really though, isn't it? I really can't remember. It is. Um, but no, because you turned up. I When... I've been going every year to the festival. Certainly at that point, yeah. I'd been, I'd still kept it up. I'd been going every single year. I volunteered with the Salvation Army uh, in the later years yeah. to oh, work there. Um, and even when you were there, I'd volunteered with the Salvation Army just to, just to get just in. To, yeah, <laughs> I didn't do it just to get in. I d- I worked solidly the Thursday and like some of the Friday, and then they gave me the wristband, and I didn't really go back. <laughs> But it was all right. Like I, d- I did it the next year. I did it a few, quite a few years, and even before then, I'd done it for quite a while. But you were there with, you know, f- sort of it was friends of friends, friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was like my sister who was best friends with Nikki's brother, mm. and so that's how we just ended up camping with everyone. And and then everyone was talking about this guy Martin. Granddad Martin. Granddad. That's what they yeah. called you. And they were like, oh, Martin's at the Salvation thing, but he'll be finished soon. And I was like, who's this Martin? And then it was like, oh, you're Martin. When we met. It was up. very exciting. I had long hair and then as well. Long, I, well, longish. It was longer than it is now. Yeah. It wasn't like long, long, oh. I don't think. But um, yeah, within about half an hour of meeting you, you were putting on a dress and <laughs> oh yeah, putting socks in a bra. Yeah, no, I I went to town. Yeah. That whole festival, yeah. every day was dress up day for me. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time, and I was I was just purely drinking that festival as well. Yeah. There was no drugs. Oh no, I'd never even taken drugs. I mean, I'd smoked smoked a bit, but smoked a bit, but you know, yeah, I wasn't even old enough to buy drink even. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I was no. seventeen. God Almighty! Oh my God! Wow! And, but your sister was even younger though, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she had been six. 16 yeah just yeah. turned but even then i wasn't really that drunk i was just doing it for the laugh because <laughs> i've always been blessed with a slightly younger looking face so i can fit in with younger people younger people that, like when like a guy with like a beard and like long <laughs> gray hair and an earring comes around all the young people are like oh, yeah, fuck off like at work i fit in with a lot of young people there because they think they think i'm only like oh he's early 20s like he's only Do just they? he's only just a little bit older than us. That's how they see yeah. me and it's like no, I'm quite a bit older than you, but I can still hang around with you and it keeps me young. Well, this is why them. I thought it would be interesting to talk about because I think if someone put us in a room and was to say like who are your friends, I don't think they would put us together because Maybe I don't not, know. No. Cuz it's like not. a 10-year age gap and <laughs> Well, yeah. I don't I've always Oh no! I've always hung around with with females in particular. Really, I find I have more. <laughs> my mum raised me versus my dad, yeah. so I feel I have more in common with females. I don't know why that is, but I feel more comfortable. There's no alpha male bullshit. Yeah, which that's when you're true. with a group of guys, like oh man, that can get a bit much. <laughs> I hate to be a guy. <laughs> the it's things they nice do to each other, like when uh, they're meant to be friends. I don't do that. 
I try not to enter into that kind Isn't of thing. I don't do that that fucking ring game, whatever that is. <laughs> if I make a ring and you look at it, then I can hit you. That's the rules, essentially. Is that right? App- apparent, yeah, I think it's a game type thing. It's not really a game. Like, who wins? When's the end? It never ends. Exactly. It's fucking stupid. It you just really get stupid. a bruise on your arm. <laughs> and you're distracting me. I'm watching a fucking cool movie and I, I've got people like, hey, check this out. Check this out. Look, Look at down my here. ring. Look at my ring. <laughs> Look at my ring. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking at their ring. They probably don't wipe properly, so <laughs> gross, shitty ring. <laughs> but anyway, Reading Festival yeah. was where we were at. You went, you went a couple of years after that as well. Didn't yeah, you? well, we went the next year and saw you again. Yeah, um, are they kind of blurred when I think about them. Both festivals, festivals are quite blurred, um, but I do remember two thousand and eight a lot more because that that was when I first took drugs, and um, so that was that's quite intense memory. Usually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I do remember that one a lot more. Whereas the first one, I was just drunk the whole time, and it was just a blur of like. Ah, so much fun in fact i actually cried on the last night because i was so sad that it was over because i didn't i was like i want to live my life like this this is (laughs) when i first started i got bitten by that bug yeah i i i first started going to reading festival without any friends as well i went with a girlfriend and she dumped me my very first reading (laughs) festival she dumped me the first day of the reading festival oh my god and like i didn't know anybody there Uh, the only reason apart from going out with this girl that I was at Reading Festival in the, in the first place was that the Prodigy were playing. Oh, um, 96, they were amazing. headlining um, the fucking main stage. And I'd already seen the Prodigy play at Nebworth yeah. like earlier that year and my world had been blown open. I'd never heard... I had heard music like that but I hadn't realised it was them and like it was just crazy. Yeah. And I wanted to go see that and they, she dumped me like what on the bitch. very first day. And, like, I didn't have anywhere to sleep, like, because I didn't want to sleep in the same tent as her now. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, because it was her tent, I just turned up with some clothes. <laughs> just, I didn't really realise. I'd been to this Nebworth thing before, which is just a one-day event. Mm. So I didn't really realise what a festival actually meant. It was, I think they're always going to be totally different to how you expect, mm. and in a, in a good way. Oh, but. not so much for me. Um, <laughs> I was on my own. And, um, yeah, I just made friends with strangers. Um, in the end, like, the last day, it got really tiring. It st- I think it rained or something, and I I, was, I got, like, kind of depressed, and I, I left early Aww. on the Sunday. I sold my wristband for £5 as well wow. outside, which I got a T-shirt with, and I, I took that home because <laughs> I, I spent all of my money on food (laughs) it was so expensive to survive at a festival you know without taking food with you you're just eating at the festival you have to have so much money to eat well yeah you know well that you're like you're not hungry at any time oh my god which i'm very uncomfortable if i get hungry i'm uncomfortable it's not a good feeling to be hungry. it's not good and I don't know, some festivals are better with some food and some festivals aren't so good. Like, Reading Festival has now diversified. Like, in the main arena, there's some good food stalls, but on the outside, it is mainly just the burger places, burger Mm. and chips, burger and chips. The all-day breakfast. All-day breakfast. I like a good all-day breakfast, though, so I'm I'm happy about that. But I wouldn't want it every day, and I don't want it all the time. I want some Chinese food. I want some Indian food. The best experience that I've had with food at a festival is Womad. That's oh, the best one. I really, really want to go. Because it that has cool. f- food from across the world. Everywhere has... A, there's Ethiopian souk food or something. Nice. where It's all chickpeas and lentils and some weird-looking crap that I don't like understand what food. it is. It's it's a hippie festival. Well, yeah. Right out of the gate. Um, but it's all good. It's, it's expensive <laughs> there, though, and it's not big enough. <laughs> yeah, you never get enough for your money. Um, no, so we take food with us whenever we go. Like I've got tins. Ali takes tins of soup because she will eat soup cold out of the tin. Uh, I can't do that. Tomato soup. Um, oh no, that's the worst one. I've eaten cold. like vegetable soup. Vegetable soup's not too bad because it's just vegetables. Like, and I can get sustenance from it. I take like tins of fruit. I'll eat mm. a tin of peaches. I'll eat fruit cocktail. All of that. Sh- I don't give a fuck. 
bags of crisps, cereal bars. Cereal bars, definitely. Um, and brioche. Also, like, I always take brioche. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> but yeah, I will rip through food like <laughs> any. <laughs> so hungry all the time. Oh, but I love my food. Yeah. It's crazy love my food. <laughs> but yeah, going back to festivals. But this is a festival theme. It's starting yeah. to be summer. It's nice outside. Definitely. So we want like it's festival, festivals. festival time. Let's talk about festivals. Festivals. You've written on your list. Dream festival lineup. Do you have ideas for your dream festival oh, lineup? Mine who would, would you like to see? Does this include like dead people? It could include dead people. So I think, I, I that can makes have, them more fun. I can have Jimi Hendrix and yeah. Janis Joplin. And yeah. See, because it's all going to be dead people. Because the living people, I can still go see them. But dead yeah. people, I can't go see them. So well, my do you dream know lineup, like the you, doors. You kind of can see dead people Whoa. because they now have these holograms. They like, did, did the two pack thing. Ones? I heard. That. Um, I don't know. I, it's not something I'd really pay money for. But if it was like at a festival and it was like, you know, there was one special, unique hologram performance of like Jimi Hendrix or Kirk Bain or something, I probably Kirk would Bain. go and see it. Like, it probably would be quite cool. Oh my God. But see, yeah, the possibilities of this are limitless. I would. I don't know. People would pay and go see that. If you had a show just entirely composed, Freddie Mercury, mm. all of that stuff, you could. People would go and see that. Yeah. They would totally yeah, no, go totally. and see that. But in um, Japan, there's this. I can't remember the name of it, but there's this kind of pop star that is a hologram, like a contemporary pop star that is a hologram, and people pay to go and see it. Wow, yeah. it's like the gorillas yeah. all over again. It's just, but it's actually you go to the show and you see the hol- the three D holograms. Yeah, mad. That is crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine that though. Yeah. You d- I mean, it's, you don't even have to be. Like that talented, I guess, for even that to really work. Yeah. Just make it a just catchy enough geeks. gimmick. Just like the, the make it looking cute enough. Mm-hmm. And as then long as the songs are good and yeah, you know, the and it's much Japanese pop. Yeah. Japanese pop has its own its own special special uh, area in the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. not really sure if I. I don't really I like know a lot so about. Much. J-pop or oh, it's exciting! I found K-pop out a bit of it well. when I when I did a lot of research into the the hard gay character. Do you remember the hard well, gay yeah. stuff that I showed you? I see a lot of Japanese pop with that, <laughs> um, which was a bit. I'd love to go to Japan though. I would love to go to Japan. I don't know if I want to go to Japan now though. I want to go to Japan before it all blew up. You mean got swept away by a tsunami? Well, like the 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 nuclear power plants, that's not good. Yeah, no. There's a lot of radiation. I don't know. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. So maybe not at the moment. I mean, it's sad. Yeah. But like, in you know, the few thousand years after the half life of it has died away, <laughs> I might go there. Then. I don't think you'll be alive. Then. <laughs> I don't think I would either. No. But hopefully, I'll be a brain in a jar. This is going to become so popular. This is like a Bill and Ted. This is the, like the Wild Stallions. This the ridiculous podcast is going to change the world. <laughs> and I am going to be revered as some kind of god figure. And I'm going to be a brain in a jar. Like in Futurama, I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn how to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a song now. I don't think I've got the rights to say those words in that order. I think that's crazy how people can write things down in an order... And say, that's it. I wrote that down in that order. I'm trademarking that. Like, the lyrics to songs. Like, I couldn't just go out and sing somebody's lyrics to somebody's song. Like, make make a song with the same lyrics as uh, How Will I Know by Whitney Houston. Well, you, you know, you could do a cover. <laughs> I could do a cover, but I've got to pay them music. I uh, pay them money, the royalties and all that. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't really get any money from that. Because I have to, pay, have to pay so much money. I can't just... Cause but even then, it's not like trademarks. You didn't go, I trademark every single word. It's well, just it's the, the structure things. of it. Because they're in that order, yeah. you can't use that now ever again, really, unless you pay for it. Mm. I think that's crazy how that even started. Like, it's madness. There's only so many like words, so many chords exactly. and everything but in the there's world. But... Limitless possibilities. It really is. Language and the way it evolves is enormous. And certainly with you, with your well-spoken, posh <laughs> words. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Because when I first met you, when I v- like the very first time I met you, you you were very well-spoken, very well-spoken, <laughs> and it, it was like, wow, this is like I thought it was like Paris Hilton, like of England, what? like had come to a festival, <laughs> like 
because she was like, oh my, oh my God, ev- everything's oh my God. amazing. Everything's amazing. Oh my God, everything's so lovely. <laughs> it's like, You're when lovely. I, when I say Paris Hilton, I don't mean like you did a sex tape and then like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't mean anything like that. Paris Hilton's probably the worst possible thing yeah. to compare you to. I take that one back. You're nothing like Paris Hilton. No. But I don't know. But like it, I don't know. You, Your accent didn't seem to fit your character, if you see what I mean. Because you... you you behave <laughs> one you way mean? but you, you you speak one way the, the way that you talk makes it sound like you go horse riding every day Does and it? like you've got a stable you've uh. got that that's what i thought when i first met you i thought shit this this girl's got money oh no not at all you've Total got a you're like you know every everybody's got a jag <laughs> <laughs> oh dear my daddy's got a pause <laughs> i wish i could say things like that um i'd love to have been born into money Oh. I sort of not like resent my parents, but sometimes I'm like, God, why are my parents so not rich? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I wish. I wish. You know, I think I'd have been spoon fed a lot if I was from a rich background. And absolutely. I, I absolutely. wouldn't be who I am, and I like who I am. So, you know, but it would be nice sometimes. I just want an iPad. I really want you an just iPad. Just want an and, iPad. I just really want an iPad at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, you need to do this. Uh, the what was it? Filthy. Lies and rinsing guys, guys. rinsing guys. Get your get your Amazon wish list. Get that up there on on your Twitter, and you'll have men who will buy stuff for you. I'd like. Well, like would they? Because men feel sorry for people. Do they? Yeah, they do. do. You need to you need to get a sub story together. Unfortunately, but I should plan this. Get myself a free iPad. (laughs) (laughs) You can probably. I don't know what, what model do you want because there's different models now. Do you, would you would you be happy with the first one? Oh, just the second one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. That'd be fine. Yeah, because there's only the iPad three out now. That's out now. Well, apparently, like that overheats. And well, yeah, but it's got lots of flaws. But yeah. you know, there'll be better ones. They all have flaws. They're they're made by Apple and they're all uniform. Really, oh, I love Apple products. It's terrible. I, I quite I like the design of Apple products, but everything's uniform. You can't really change. Like with with our phones, we can put whatever we want on there, really. Yeah. Like, and we can even have stuff that exists outside of the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the iPhone, you have to hack into it to have stuff outside of the marketplace. I mean, I don't like iPhones very much. No. I don't. I just. But surely the the iPad doesn't that work as a phone? No, I don't. No. Well, you can. I guess you can like Skype call and stuff on it. I don't know if it actually has a phone on it though. I don't think you can. You don't have like a phone number. Yeah, you can. I'm pretty sure because it has a camera that you could Skype people and things. Cool. But don't quote me on that because I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's that's going to be on the front of my DVD box now. <laughs> you could possibly maybe do Skype with an iPhone, <laughs> iPad. That's going to be the quote on the I'm on the top sure now. Um, <laughs> well, no. But yeah, no. But we didn't finish our dream festival. We didn't either. finish. Well, you mentioned Kirk Bain. Yeah, that's definitely one I would love to see. Nirvana, because I never saw Nirvana. It's all about bands that I'd never, never got a chance to see mm-hmm. because they died before I was into them. Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley, for one. Yeah, I'd fucking love to see Bob Marley, and I it would have been possible for me to see Bob Marley at one stage because you know I existed at the same time as him. But I never got the chance to, so definitely the it's it's gonna be the dead ones. There's no mm-hmm. like I'd like to see the black keys, but <laughs> if there's no if there's if there's room on the bill for like another dead artist, you I'll I'll push dead, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll go for the dead artist, really. But okay, so if if you're gonna scrub dead artists out of it, just artists that are out now, bands hot and fresh, you know, the the new blood, oh, new. so to speak, what would be your dream festival lineup right now? Like right now. That's the question. Um, Marine like, and the Diamonds would headline, of course. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because she's she's like, awesome. Okay, what what are the the main headliners then? The cause the three the three main headliners. We've got Marina and the Diamonds. Are they going to be Friday or Saturday or, or Sunday? Because there's I had like a like a big different energy, big closing on the Sunday with all like fireworks and cool. sparkly stuff. Cool. Um, that would be awesome. You have Rufus Wainwright as well on that day. That's all like he could play some up tempo music for yeah. a change. Yeah. Um. Who else? 
someone like like you know people like DJ Fresh and yeah, Nero yeah. and Sub Focus and you know all those lot Skrillex <laughs> probably yes, I've never seen him live so no no I would Azealia Banks should be on there for sure absolutely um, she's awesome. <sighs> I really wanted she's to go really to Reading Festival this year because she's playing. She's in the, well, the dance we, area. We're going to go and see her in Oxford in September really? and October. Yeah, me and Nikki have got tickets. Wow. They're like £12 each. Wow. I don't know if there's any left. But, I um, might have to check yeah. that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be shit. really good. Uh, Zelia Banks featuring, um, isn't it like... Lazy Boy? Lazy La- Boy. No. Something like Lazy Fly or something like that. Uh, Lazy J. Uh, Lazy J. I can't remember the name of the song now either. One two one two or something. Two one two. <laughs> two one two. I mean, I'm too old now. My brain doesn't work <laughs> properly. It's um. been Swiss cheesed by ecstasy and leaping around in time. <laughs> I don't think it's done that much damage. The leaping around in time. The ecstasy has done untold damage. Leaping around in time's fine for me. <laughs> That's easy. Take that one on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what I, I'm even talking about now, but I mean, certainly for me, like I, I would like to see the Black Keys. I've never seen yeah. the Black Keys. That would be cool. Um, I don't know who I would like have. It is a tough question for yeah. like putting a lineup together for a festival. That would be crazy. A lot of dance acts that you you mentioned, Skrillex particularly, I do quite like that, but. I have to be in the mood. I can't have it on all the time. Yeah, it's because it's sometimes it's, ju- it's you said the other day it's just noises. Sometimes yeah, it's just bleeps and noise. Um, it's good for in the gym. Yeah, I think. pushing myself when I'm going to work or something, or when I'm fired up. Yeah, it's really cool when I'm fired up. But if I'm not fired up, I don't really like, feel it yeah. so much. Which is cool. I mean, when I was younger, I I used to be into like classic rock when I was younger, <laughs> like. A lot of like Leonard Skinner, um, classic American rock. Because my brothers liked that. I liked Queen, yeah. which is British, and like a lot of stuff like that. And then dance music didn't really make much sense. I listened to a bit of happy hardcore. <laughs> that didn't make much sense to me. And then like there was, I I I took ecstasy, and dance music made sense. Yeah, a lot of people say that when they used to just only listen to rock. And then they take drugs and they're like, I get it now. That's it. it there was a switch inside yeah. my head. And now I don't do drugs anymore, but I can still key into that feeling yeah, when I'm listening to that before, music. So you have that memory, I guess. Yeah, like memory. Muscle memory. It's almost like muscle memory. But I, when I like put on songs, certainly when I've put on songs that I've listened to whilst high, when I'm not high, it makes me feel like I'm high. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it does have yeah. that effect, definitely. And I get all excited. And you kind of get that little rush. Yeah. Like, <gasps> oh, yeah. memories. Because that's, that's it. It's, t- it's that rush. I used to love that rush when you're on the dance floor or even when you're at home. Mm. That was another big way I used to love doing ecstasy was just sitting at home and talking to everybody yeah. about stuff that you would be too embarrassed to talk about otherwise. Yeah, just definitely. how much, just simply how much you love each other. <laughs> but I can never really tell you because I'd feel like such a twat. <laughs> 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 oh, but you know it's good. I think it's good cleansing for the soul. I do sometimes. Yeah, but um, I think it does make people better people. I don't want to do it anymore. Really? Yeah, I've had enough. I'm too old now. I feel it's not as good as what I remember. So, like, I'm gonna see what happens. Obviously, maybe in the future birthdays maybe i don't know you never know but (laughs) like i mean never say never right i'm not gonna totally like turn the idea down but i don't know i don't really want to take hardcore drugs anymore no just smoke some weed get high just yeah every now and then and i want to go smoke free by the end of this year really yeah i want to have a vaporizer by the end of this year so because i feel I can feel it inside of me. Every morning I'm coughing. It's it's not nice. And I thought we're quitting smoking. That would go. But that hasn't. No. <laughs> so one act that I would have on my Dream Festival lineup is them fucking Japanese pop stars I've that been I listened to the to other them. night. I like them. Yeah. Um, they were really good. Japanese pop stars let go. That video yeah. with the, the cartoon and the song, it builds really well and it releases and then 
kicks in with a nice funky beat. Right? It's a good funky, funky song. So I recommend I the Japanese pop Aretha stars. Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, that's another good one. She'd be brilliant. Yeah. I'd love that. Absolutely. Her voice um, is phenomenal. Beyonce, fuck. After, did you see her? I'm going to switch that around and say, fuck Beyonce. That's what <laughs> I want to do. Uh, She's hot. Her Glastonbury performance was incredible. No, I never watched that. Oh, you should watch it. Yeah. It's bloody good. I've watched it about three or four bloody times. Bloody good. Um, but yeah, so she should be on my lineup. It sounds very girly, mm. my lineup at the moment, but it's because. But what, okay, what memories, what, you know, other lineups, what people have you seen at festivals where you were like, that was just one of the best, well, you know, best gigs even? Uh, too many DJs. Too many DJs at Reading Festival. Reading, oh. and I've seen them in Manchester. Cool. They're brilliant. I think the Manchester one was better, but that's because I can remember it more. Oh, okay. Um, I've I've seen the too many DJs once. And I think it was Reading. a better set. I think because a few years before at the festival because it was in a tent and there were lots of people in front of me and couldn't really oh, see yeah. what was going on with that the visuals because they have a lot of visuals. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of people on stage. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I took somebody to go see it at Reading Festival, and when we got into the tent, they were like, "Wow." Like, how many people have they got on stage? <laughs> and I was like, too many. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, my God. But just the cutting and, pace, you know, the in-between is incredible. That was definitely in my top five gigs ever, yeah. I would say. Too many DJs. So um, they're, they're on the lineup. Simeon Mobile DJs. Disco. Really I liked the band. When I went to go see them live, it was the crowd. Mm. They, they did a really good live show, but the crowd sucked because it's really? a running festival crowd. Yeah. And they kept doing the Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, no, noise. I remember. Actually. And I was like, whoa, if you, this, uh, they're not that kind of band. Just fuck off with that shit. It's yeah. really annoying. Don't do that. Because <laughs> that's where all the chavs go, is the, 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 the dance then. Because it's, oh, it's running festival. Fuck that rock cunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's oh, lame, Jesus isn't it? Christ. Um, Oh, I'm trying so to think of like the big the bands that I've seen at Reading, and there have been loads, but I just can't. I saw think Green of any. Day at Reading. That was cool. Blink One Eight Two. Oh, the Blink One Eighty Two. Wow. That was that was really good. Um, because obviously I listened to them all through my teenage years, so it was really good to see them, and they did a really good show. Um, because didn't they like reform for that or something? Or like, I don't, I don't know. know. Did they break up I don't or know. did they just kind of go quiet for a while? I can't remember. Uh, maybe they went quiet. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that was good. Oh, I saw the gossip when Beth is. Oh my her god! Wow, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of entertaining. Um, but no, I, it was good. That song's power. She's got a voice and a half on her. That woman, yeah. when she belts it out, she can really let go. Mm. No, I <laughs> wish I could have a voice like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favourite songs to perform on SingStar. Is standing yeah. in the way of control. Tidge, his version of that. Do you remember him? Yeah. Hey, oh my God. Th- that was blissfully funny. <laughs> he just went balls to the wall. <laughs> awesome times. Awesome times. So yeah, I mean, even I'll have the gossip. I'll have the gossip on my dream lineup. They'd be opening, I think, but yeah. definitely have them. Mood, I like them. Jumping. Maybe like, I definitely have some 80s bands. Rick Astley's got to be on my, my lineup. <laughs> I want Rolf Harris on my lineup as well. Just for entertainment. I want like an entertainment stage where it's just like and Tom Jones is going to be on there. Like bloody, get Des O'Connor. <laughs> Des O'Connor can do his bloody song. He's got a song <laughs> called Dicker Dum Dum or some shit like that. I don't know what it's called. Get him up there to do that. That would be lovely. Mm-hmm. Just get all the old folks who are still alive. I'm trying to think of alive. old people who I'd want. Michael Jackson would be pretty good. Michael Jackson would be cool. I don't, yeah. No, that would Rihanna. be cool. Yeah. Rihanna. <laughs> I don't get the fuss about rihanna we've had conversations the, about this the thing before is, like the songs that i really like by rihanna i really love the songs but then some of her songs i'm just they i'm just a bit like meh yeah mm. so you know i'm not like a huge rihanna fan but the songs i like i really like mm. so i do listen to them nice i mean like i don't know this because there's sometimes when i look at her and i'm like wow like there's a really attractive lady there and then there's sometimes I look at her and it's like, I'm sure I've seen you standing outside of like a supermarket, <laughs> like smoking a fag over a baby pram. Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen like a woman who looks just like you. So like you look very attractive for somebody like who's got three asbos. <laughs> She's always got a fag in her hand. 
that's all right. I don't know. Look at me being like so common. It's uncouth standing yeah. around smoking. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Well, certainly, I think if you're in the public eye, I don't think you should smoke like in public like that. No, especially she she has like kids buying her albums, right? Yeah. Like, I don't think they should see her smoking. Does she smoke? I don't know. I Probably don't know. not. I might have just made that up. You probably did. I know she smoked a joint. There was pictures of her in Heat magazine smoking a jazz cigarette. Oh, that makes me like her even more. Exactly. I liked her for that. And then, like, there was a photo of her with her nipple out or something. So oh, I was awesome. like, nice. <laughs> I'm just going to go upstairs with this magazine. Just for a nipple. <laughs> just from a nipple. Wow. Imagine that. I know. I'm, like, so sensitive. <laughs> This has taken a strange turn. I think yeah. we should go back to festivals. We Definitely. should go. <laughs> um, any others for like, I don't know, 70s? Like Bee Gees. Would you like to see the Bee Gees perform? I, w- I guess I wouldn't not want to see the Bee Gees. So, yeah. Because yeah. um, like, you know, How Deep Is Your Love? It's a fucking good song, man. That's a classic. Maybe like... Performed um, by them. That's a good song. Boys Own. Yeah, not so good. <laughs> but the Bee Gees version. Version. Awesome. I don't know. I like the Bee Gees. Saturday Night Fever is a bloody good film. I love anything disco, really, because <laughs> disco influenced all the dance music we listen to today. So, it, you know, you can hear it in it. Yeah. And I, I, it's a good sound. It's, mm-hmm. you know. And you still get songs today that sound, yeah. ex- you know, almost exactly the same. There's some that just haven't really changed. It's just a different, it's just put through different filters. Mm. It doesn't sound as similar. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Music just keys me up so much. I love it. I don't understand. Like, I didn't even think people that didn't like music existed. But there are people who don't listen to music or don't, they, you know, they, they're they just not fussed about. I don't understand. Yeah. I think some of it is a generation thing as well. Because typically you will only like your generation's music. Mm. And when you get older, music moves on. You, you don't like yeah. where it's gone. You like your stuff. So back in the day when rock and roll started coming out and all the old people were like, this is terrible. We need to ban rock and roll. Yeah. Rock and roll was the devil's music. You couldn't play Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and the Comets for fear of riots because the the children will go crazy. It was the beginning of youth culture, though, rock what and roll. What the fuck is that about? You know what I mean? That song, you put on Rock Around the Clock now. You see what the kids will do now. They'll throw bricks at your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Music has just moved on. And But, you know, those people now who grew up with that and in that era where it's like, oh, it's new music, Leave it, don't let the man get you down and all that stuff. Nowadays, they'll say music is crap. Yeah. It's not my the same. Dad, my dad's totally like that. And he's very much, in, he thinks, not like he thinks he's really cool, I don't think, but he's always been into his bands and like, you know, punk and like, you know, the Clash and the Sex Pistols and nice, you know, good quality band bands, guy, though. blokey music. And if you know, he ever hears dance music, or even worse, like a dance record sampling like a rock song, he'll be like, "What the oh, fuck is this?" Oh shit! And yeah. it's like, you know, like I read in an article the other day, like people talking about how like dubstep is like the punk of our generation because it's had such a massive influence on, like you know, cultural stuff and yeah. like music. There are similarities. The yeah. anarcho- anarchistic kind of style of the, the flow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so he, he wouldn't have liked that either. Certainly because he likes punk. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I just I wonder how I'd take it if I played some Skrillex to him or something. I wonder what he'd think of it. I know. I have no idea what he'd... I, I don't think he'd like it. But, but then... Maybe I should play it to him. Do you play them with mu- music videos help, I think, sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I liked Skrillex. I down, I like, I heard stuff on YouTube and stuff like popular videos kept coming up. This scary monsters and nice sprites yeah. song. And I was like, wow, it's, it sounds amazing. This is cool. And then all these different remixes of it came out. And I'm like, this is amazing. And then there's all these different songs that it just kept coming on his YouTube channel. I subscribed to his YouTube channel. So yeah. I get all this stuff from him for free, essentially. Yeah. I don't have to buy an album of his. I would love to buy an album of his, but I don't even know if he has an album. I don't know. 
Like, what the fuck? He, he must have an album, right? He's done tours and all sorts of weird shit. I think How can he do that without an album? He must have an album somewhere. If he hasn't got one, it's coming. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of it. But he, I've Maybe seen, I'll, like, his videos. He plays fucking arenas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. And that's that's got to be just... I, yeah. All I've got to do is turn on my phone and I can just access, like, all of his videos, pretty much all of his songs, just from his channel alone. Yeah. I don't have to search for other people who have put their own... I don't really understand that. People will, like... They'll film things on the telly through their mobile phone and then they'll upload that onto YouTube. Why would you do that? I don't understand. I hate it so much. I really wanted somebody to watch that so much that I recorded it through my phone. If it's like a one-off thing, like it it never happened again. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. (laughs) Phone cameras are shit though. Mine's terrible. I really want to, I need a proper camera. Mine got stolen. (gasps) <gasps> at a festival actually fuckers yeah bastards it's a bit gutted that is gutting mm. festivals are bad actually when you've got no like the security like you being stung at a festival yeah. like I've had and some bad festival experiences like, you know god yeah like when I went there with one girl um I didn't go there with her I met friends there like every year I pretty much just met people there yeah there's a new circle of friends every year sometimes um <laughs> But there was this one girl, like, we went to go see Marilyn Manson. She wanted to go see Marilyn Manson. I wasn't that fussed. I didn't really... He did a good cover of Sweet Dreams and Made of This, but I didn't really like anything else. I hadn't really heard anything else. All I'd seen is just this weird freak. I don't understand. (laughs) But she was like, you've got to come see this gig. I want to go come with me. Yeah. I was like, cool, I'll come with you. And she got urinated on in the crowd. I got urinated on when I saw the klaxons. Fucking um, <laughs> thankfully it was on the last night yeah. so it's not like I had to go around the whole thing but that's you know it's me. terrible man fuck oh, that oh god it's horrible like we were in a crowd and I just felt something warm oh, on my leg oh no it was just like a splash of it yeah and I turned around this guy was like trying to pee into a bottle or a cup or something and I think and he just like working. misaimed or something yeah. but I was just like oh I think I well, just I've already told on. my my piss story where I'm at Reading Festival and I pissed into the cup and then I look down in the cup and there's there's a big hole in the bottom of the cup <laughs> I've just pissed all over my shoes <laughs> <laughs> oh that was that was one of the worst festival moments for me as well. Um, that's pretty bad. Being dumped by my girlfriend, present that's girlfriend at the time. In fact, that's how I first ever learned about Reading. She lived in Reading. Oh, so wow. So it's the first time you'd ever been to... First time I'd yeah. ever been to Reading. Um, wow. And, like, I used to come here before, like, the Reading Festival just to meet her. But, like, I think she... I don't know where she lived out in probably in the flats. Um, I can't remember. I can remember her name, but I'm not going to say it on here because <laughs> that would be a bit much, I think. Yeah. And I don't know if I could meet her now. That would be a bit weird. That would be odd. Yeah. So. Sometimes people <laughs> should stay in the past. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Mm. That's a good idea. Certainly because I'm, I actually, I lied to her from the beginning. Oh, I good. told her I was older than what I was, <laughs> but I was only 15 years old. But Everyone I said I was 19. I used to do that when I was a teenager. I used to, yeah. I used to meet strangers and make up stories all the time. All the time. You still but do I, that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do from time to time. But it's, it's, it's harder now to... Those moments don't really occur as often. But it used to be all the time. <laughs> but, oh, God, I used to have good times. <laughs> there was good times. I shouldn't do it, though. Really. <laughs> Lying's bad. It's all right. I'm just making up, you know, I've got different lives to them now. <laughs> They're like, I met this really cool guy. He, he fucking, he works for Whiskers. He's the cat food tester. He has to test the cat food to make sure it's fit for human consumption. <laughs> Imagine that. Every day he's got to eat cat food. He gets extraordinary amounts of money for it. <laughs> there you There's go. That's a brand shit. new person. He works for Whiskers. He's a cat food tester. Because <laughs> they have to have that. Their cat food has to be fit for human consumption. What? No, it doesn't. It does. Baby might crawl along and eat that. Well, yeah, but like... Somebody might eat that. <laughs> what? Somebody might eat that food. It Somebody has to be fit for human consumption. Things, but not everything's fit for human consumption. Cat food has to be fit for human consumption. I'm pretty sure on this. Okay, well, we'll Google it. I'm not later. Googling it now. My computer's on on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. 
I will like, do it later. I did it earlier when I was looking at Chrome, Google Chrome on the internet. And like I'd click on a page and it would it would load like it would start rolling down <laughs> like you wouldn't just like see the page it just took its time oh, scrolling down so uh, yeah it's good enough to record this yeah that's and that's about it um, <laughs> which is a shame because I want a good computer to play Diablo three at the moment this brand new game has come out I think it's like ten or twelve years since the last one came out oh, wow. it's, it's a, a big time. big event what? or maybe not I don't think it's that long I think it might be less time than that. What kind of game is it? Um, it is a top well, third person isometric view. So like you're you're looking down diagonally and you can be like a thief or like well, I don't think you'd be a thief. You could be a wizard or a barbarian or like it's an adventure role playing game. Oh, okay. So you, you click on stuff and you kill it <laughs> and then you it will drop a weapon that's better than yours, so you pick up that weapon, you start using that. Or if you're a wizard you start learning new spells and you can be like a necromancer or a, a witch doctor or cool. an elf archer or some weird shit like that. And it's quite cool games. I'm, I really want to play it. It's only on the PC and you have to have a reasonable PC to yeah, play it. Yeah. And I don't have a reasonable PC. Like I, I bought The Sims 3, but I just can't really use it on my Mac because it just sketches out and overheats. And then it's oh, like, no. I really need a new laptop. If anyone wants to buy me a new laptop, <laughs> that would be or an so iPad. That would be awesome. Could, I, you couldn't really run Sims on an iPad. No. I would just much rather have the laptop than an iPad because oh, the both. iPad's I not. I need both. Because with the laptop, you can take that out and about. You don't have to have that. Yeah, but I just I really want an iPad. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean I've seen people using iPads and they look amazing. They're really And cool. like you can get like music equipment on them. Yeah. Like Korg. Corgi do the Corgi, they're the people who do the gas fires. Korg, K O R G, who do the synthesizers and yeah, stuff like that, yeah. and the chaos pads that Beardy Man does. You can get those on your iPad yeah. and use them fairly well. Like they're like ninety nine percent close to the real thing. There's a bit of a delay sometimes with them because when you press a button, obviously it's not a real button. It's got to think about <laughs> what that is, and you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, it's not so. It's not so bad though. They look amazing. I yeah. would love one. They mm. just look really fun. Mm. I wouldn't take one to a festival though. Hell no. no. That would get broken instantly. Yeah. So or you stolen. don't want that. Never take one to a festival. What are the festivals like? Have you been to? What are your highlights? What are, what's the worst festival you've been to? Uh, Reading Festival. But it's also been one of the best. Right? It's also been the best festival yeah. that I've ever been to. <laughs> so um, yeah, I went there. I've I've only really been to Reading Festival. Um, I have been to uh, Waveform and Womad, and I've been to Glade. I think that is it. Waveform probably was the worst festival for me. Yeah. Um, it had rained constantly before the festival, and there was something else there before we were there, so Ooh. the ground was ripped apart. Wow. Um, there were stages that were missing. There were a what? lot. Ninety percent of the stalls couldn't get in. Wow, that is. There cool. was nothing there. I mean, there was there was like seven. There was still like seven. Like there were mini tents. It wasn't really that big a stage yeah. going on. It was pretty independent festival, and you know it was it was hard to get around because um, it was so wet all the time. <laughs> I just got really tired. It's really tiring walking yeah, through the mud. Yeah, and I, I spent think. a lot of time sleeping. Yeah. So that one was probably one of my worst festivals, unfortunately. My girlfriend had a really good time. <laughs> um, her image of that festival is way fluffier than mine. Um, it's, it's not fair when that happens. If like your other half like ends up having a really good time, it's alright. I'm comfortable with that. To be totally honest, um, I'm weird like that. Sometimes I'm not having a good time, yeah. and I've got to go home. The other night I wasn't having a good time. I had to go home. It was work. I don't know what had happened. Something happened. Uh, I don't know. I was tired, and I can be a bit jittery sometimes as well. Yeah. And I don't know. You were watching Disney films in the other room. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were Nemo. playing games. No, Nemo. <laughs> playing Nemo. games in the other room, and I was like, I don't know. Maybe I, sh I, I, sh I might just go home. I'm just gonna go home, sit down, and stare at a blank wall because <laughs> I can't take any. Like, there's too much going on. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I totally am. I'm the same. I don't know. I yeah. Sometimes after work, I have to switch off. Yeah. I just have to. Because you're around people all day. Yeah. People are draining. I have to be nice to a lot of people, and a lot of the people are nice, but some of them aren't so nice, and I've got to be nice to them. Yeah. And that annoys me. But it's that's all right. I don't mind. It's fine. <laughs> I get paid for it, so I'm going to do the best job I can possibly do. Yeah. But it's tiring. I made pizzas the other day. Mm. Yeah, pizzas and pizzas and pizzas. Have you seen the pizza yeah, no, counter? Yeah, the counter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I filled that, and then I made enough pizzas to fill that again twice. Wow. So I don't know how many pizzas it holds. A lot. <laughs> because it took me, like, my whole, like, well, it took six hours for me to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I just burped. <laughs> oh, it was a little, ooh, nice. Oh, dear. Oh, I needed to go for a wee, but now it's gone away. I held Yay. it. So that's good. I know, I started to panic. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to have to go. But then I thought, you know, I could just piss up against you, and that'll be all right. You're used to it, right? Oh, no, I'm not used to that. Oh, no. you had it happen to you before, you said earlier. Yeah, but it, it's not, you know. So you like it now, right? And I don't have a change of clothes. I'm just going to call you Tanner P. Legs from now on. Know. Is that all right? Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. I already get enough bad nicknames as it oh, is. Oh, okay. Sorry. Like Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> That's a really Tana good Montana. one. What's that? Tanner Montana. Like, you know, Hannah Oh, Montana. like Hannah Montana, but Tanner Montana. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, well, it could Guantanamo be Guantanamo Bay. Oh, no, it's Lloyd's. <laughs> <laughs> should do a podcast with Lloyd. I, think I would like to do a podcast with Lloyd. It's hard to pin that motherfucker down. Yeah. Although he likes, he liked the posts and stuff. There was, yeah. So, because I, I've been promoting this like a motherfucker recently. Really? Three posts. Um, <laughs> 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 but no, like every episode that came out, I promoted that. And then, like recently, when I got a Twitter address, I promoted that and. Like, I've just been pushing it out there to all of my friends. What is your Twitter? I'll follow you. I don't really... Um, I have Twitter, and I'm terrible at using it. Yeah. And whenever I do go to write something on it, I have to delete half of what I'm writing and put it in text speak because it it's can't fit. It's too small. It won't fit. 140 characters. See, now I have It's not good bear. for people who like using proper grammar and words and... Oh, you know, no. <laughs> like me. <laughs> um, but it's, it's good enough for me because I can put, like, the link to the next podcast yeah. and, hey, this is my new podcast. Check it out. Here's the link. Blah, 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 blah. And that's it. It's over. So for me, promoting-wise, Twitter is invaluable. It's a really good source and tool. People will sell out gigs purely yeah. from twitter now and news travels like so fast around the world with twitter exactly exactly so it's really cool mind your feet with the cables there if that's all right <laughs> sorry oh wow breaking the mm. third wall there letting you into some of the backstage things there's cables lying around <laughs> everywhere out of the front of my computer um wh- i'm still in the the basing camping equipment yeah. and sing star mic stage so i don't know i don't think i'm ever going to evolve from this this is Guerrilla podcasting Grass at its roots. finest. <laughs> Grassroots podcasting. I don't, I don't know. It's positive. I've had a lot of good feedback. There's been plays slash downloads. Cool. Your last episode, 314 That's at the last nice. count. Do you think people have enjoyed listening to it, though? I don't know. I don't know. Thing. It's all right getting it out there. But because when I actually go to podomatic.com, the website, it, yeah. there's not an awful lot of like visits and like views on my page and stuff. So I think a lot of it is just through iTunes. Yeah. People get this on iTunes because that was the only thing that I was on before. And that obviously has a link to the podomatic.com. Yeah. So that's where the downloads comes from. Hmm. So I have no idea. I've no idea, possibly. I still haven't got any emails. There's nothing come back from people. So, like you said earlier, you started listening to one, but it's it's over an hour long, so that, that'd be hard yeah, to... I mean, like, if you're on iTunes, it's best to download them and just put them on a... Do you, ha- do you actually have, like, an iPod or anything like I that? I do one? have an iPod, but I never use it anymore because uh. I have Spotify on my phone. Don't know, they're plugging Spotify there. They should sponsor me. <laughs> Spotify would be good. Yeah, you could get some free membership out of them, yeah. I think. Um, you deserve it. You need it as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. now they've got this new thing because I have an NUS card. Ooh. I get it four ninety nine a month for premium. That's good. Really good. That is good because it's nine ninety nine a month, yeah. isn't it? That's expensive, but it's worth it. Yeah. Because you've just got an untapped resource of music. Yeah. Exactly. And Crazy. And brilliant. I just have that on my phone instead. Yeah. We were talking about this in the last podcast. Streaming is the future. 
in yeah. the future, games will be streamed online. You won't have physical things. There won't be physical things. It's all just streamed. I don't know. Like, I think there's still very much a place for physical at the moment. And at least in the next, God, 25 years, maybe even 50 years. Because, like, okay, so for pop music, for example, mm. and really, like, mass media type stuff, f you know, CDs still account for 75% of album sales in the UK. Yeah, yeah. But people still buy them. How much does it cost to produce all of those CDs and distribute them worldwide? Money. They're saving all of that money through that just by putting it up online. Charge five pounds for it. Yeah. Put it up online. Charge five pounds. I'll fucking buy your album. Yeah. And, and it's, people you know, will buy your album. Yeah. Because it's, it's five enough, pounds. People will buy it. Yeah. And even if it's not good enough, if it's cheap enough, I'll buy your album. Yeah. Put it up there, four ninety nine, whatever. But that's the issue is that like you know it devalues music is like one argument. And that music isn't you know it's not sold for as much as it used to be in the nineties when we had the CD boom. Yeah. CDs were like you know twelve ninety nine, sometimes up to twenty pounds. I know, and it's it's such and a now shame. Like eight pounds for a new CD that's just come out, like a new album, you're like seven or eight pounds. Um, it's crazy. Yeah. Considering, well, the, the cost of it has to have come down now in producing everything. But back when it first started, the cost of producing CDs would have been f yeah. a lot higher than what yeah, it is today. Definitely. But, God, the music production business. It's a crazy old game, isn't it? Mm. It's all numbers. You've got to yeah. have numbers. If you don't have the <laughs> well, numbers, yeah, you've got business. nothing. And I've got some numbers. Yeah. Hooray. I'm happy. It's Are good there to like have some talent numbers. scouts for... You know, like voice artists and podcasts. I and hope stuff. so. I would love to be a voice artist. Because like someone could hear this and be like, "Wow, that's, yeah, I'm not so bad with voices." Voice. You have a good and, you voice. You know, yeah, I think I've got a fairly decent voice. Yeah. So nice I voice. would love to. I'd love to do anything, and you know, I I'd, I'd work pretty. I'm pretty cheap. Yeah. I'll do anything for little amounts of money. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything really. I'm just grateful for the the attention. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, really. I am just striving for attention. And I get attention. It's nice. But I would like to be... F I want to be famous. <laughs> I do. I, but I don't know why. Like, I don't want to walk down the street and people are like... Oh my God, that's that man. <laughs> that's that, that's that you Martin. You could be famous to some people. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, I used to be famous at Reading Festival. The Starvin' Marvin character. Like, that... He had a bit of a reputation. There were people in Guernsey who loved me. There really? was this camp, yeah, this group of friends from Guernsey who I camped with for three, four years. Wow. And because I would only meet them at Reading Festival, it was really weird. <laughs> and because they'd be in the same sort of field, yeah. that area, and I would just zigzag through the tents. <laughs> and eventually they'd be like, Marvin. And I'd be like, Go, oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Does anybody want to buy any hash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, oh my god, that was cool. I used to love my Guernsey crew. Wow. Oh, that, oh that's good memories. Mm. I can't remember any of their full names because I've, I've tried to find them since then. Like on I, Facebook. Yeah. Like on Facebook, but I can remember first names. But, like, you type in their name and where they come from. It doesn't really come up yeah. with much. It's hard to find surname. people. That's a shame. I'd love to find them again. Maybe you'll see them. So, yeah, sometime. if anybody is listening to this and they're from Guernsey and they went to Reading Festival <laughs> and they remember a guy called Starvin Marvin or Martin, because I touch. sometimes, yeah, get in touch with me. The email is uh, theridiculousness at gmail.com. R I D I C U L O U S N E S S. That's the ridiculousness. I've got that pretty down, uh, pretty yeah. damn good now. You've been practicing. I've just been typing it non fucking stop, <laughs> saying it uh, in this. I say it now a lot. So yeah, it's good, pretty good. It's good. It's it's it is a long word, and yeah. it's reasonably tricky to spell, I guess. But it's it's not that bad. It's one of those like you spell it how you it's say it. It's not a bad name. Ridiculous. I think. You know. Yeah, it's not a bad name. I think. No, I think it's good. It's self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, it's there's, yeah. there's nothing there's no like real theme so we can fly about with anything really mm -hmm. I mean we tried to stick on festivals <laughs> and stuff we <laughs> look where that's got us <laughs> yeah but it's good it's a good conversation I've had a really good time we've talked yeah. about some good stuff good artists brought back some memories of things mm. it's, it's nice I like having that we've had a good laugh 
Good. Good. Um, I am going to need to go and have a wee though in a bit. <laughs> and I'm going to need to eat some food because yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit hungry. I've got some snacks. Do you want some snacks? Mm. Some kettle crisps. Kettle, kettle chips. Oh, I've shit. I've got my graze box though. I might have some healthier snacks maybe. <laughs> I've got some cheese and chive twists with some Ooh. hummus maybe. We could oh. dip that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Cool. Awesome. Um, did you want to, like, is there anything that you wanted to promote or anything? Have you got, like, no, anything but I going think, on? Um, I could use this for promotional reasons. Yeah. I will come up with some kind of plan. Yeah. If um, anything, in the future, you're more than welcome to voice, you know, sound off on here. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, just, I like chatting and... Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> it's been fun. Awesome. Well, as it's always, it's funny to hear it back. It is funny to hear it back. It's weird. <laughs> we should do one when we're like really drunk. I have sometime. thought about this. I've thought about doing one out in the kitchen as well when there's a few yeah. people round because the microphones would probably stretch out there to a degree. Yeah. And if I got the like a bit of an extender on the the pickup thing, the mm infrared thing i can't remember what it's called the receiver the wireless receiver yeah. um if i got an extender for that i could probably get that in the kitchen and i've got my headset as well yeah. my brand new headset which i really want to start using on a podcast i want to just do one on my own yeah just to use this headset because cool. it's, oh, it's so beautiful i love my headset <laughs> swish turtle beach px21 headphones recommended retail price of 70 pounds wow 69.99 I got them for half price. Nice. Thirty four ninety nine. Oh shit. Fell off the back of a lorry. <laughs> There's some scuffs on the box, so I said they fell off the back of a lorry, but they didn't. I think I just dropped them. <laughs> I fucking bought these things cost seventy pounds. I fucking dropped them on the pavement because oh I took them out to look at them when I was waiting for a bus. <laughs> I'm like shit. What did you learn from that? Uh, don't get it out of the bag. Certainly when you've just gone to a midnight launch of something. Yeah. I went to the midnight launch of Max Payne yeah, 3 and it. I bought these headphones and this game and then like half past 12 in the middle of Reading waiting for a bus, <laughs> I start pulling out my really expensive stuff <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I dropped it and I was like, shit, I'm going to get mugged in a minute so I put it back in the bag. Because oh Reading is a dangerous, dangerous that place, Reading. It's really dodgy. It is. I don't, I don't really like it that much. <sighs> We are going to have to wind this up now because I am yeah, starting to turn purple from needing a yeah, wee. So that. thank you very much for coming on here again. All right. uh, as it's always, I love you from the bottom of my heart. You're brilliant <laughs> for coming on here I and doing this. Too. So thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.